Hi everyone. Thanks for stopping by again for another refrigerant checkup. This hopefully brief and informative video is really designed to keep you connected, to keep answering your questions, and for me to clear up any misinformation or address any frequently asked questions that you may have. So again, feel free to send those questions in. Uh, direct email is usually best. You know, in my 30 years in the uh, HVACR industry, we get a lot of the quite same questions over and over again, which is why we publish lists of frequently asked questions. But today I want to answer probably the number one question, at least over the last decade that I've got. And that is, is this a drop in refrigerant? In other words, can I take this refrigerant and add it on top of another refrigerant in an existing system to continue uh, to service that uh, equipment? And so the short answer is no. I consider there is no such thing as a drop in refrigerant. And I'll give you five reasons why I say that. First, it's violation of uh, ASHRAE industry standards to mix refrigerants in a system. We don't want to have unknown refrigerants in a system. We need the things to operate reliably, predictably, to be able to service them, troubleshoot them. So we need to have known quantities as far as refrigerants in systems, hence the establishment of ASHRAE standards, other industry standards that you don't want to violate by mixing those refrigerants. Two, when you mix refrigerants in a system, even though it's in one system, you're really creating a new refrigerant. And there are laws and regulations around approval of new refrigerants. So at some point, you're probably going to run afoul of some regulation if you end up mixing refrigerants. Third, and probably most importantly, is that there are ways to put new refrigerants in systems that were designed for another one particularly R22, and there's a host of replacements that can be used to replace R22, things like MO99, 438A, New 22B, 422B, and others. And you can do that, and they are very, very effective, but you have to follow certain basic guidelines, and they can differ depending on the product you're putting in there, whether you need to change elastomer so you don't have leaks, whether you need to change a lubricant or not, how you adjust the controls. So we want to do it right when we give our customers an alternative refrigerant. And to do it right, you really need to get the right refrigerant and follow the guidelines. We publish very detailed engineering guidelines for doing these conversions at Option.com. Fourth, if you were to mix refrigerants and say put a new refrigerant, a blend on top of R22 in a system, that new refrigerant mix you're creating in the system is going to be one of a kind. There's going to be no PT chart. So you're not going to have the tools you need to charge it correctly, to set superheat, to set subcooling, to troubleshoot it. You're really setting yourself or any future technician who comes along to service that instrument not up for success by creating a new refrigerant. So again, we don't want to drop anything on top of others. Lastly is a financial one, but it's also important. When you add a new refrigerant and create mixed refrigerants, you're destroying any reclaimed value that existing refrigerant had particularly if it's R22. R22 has a significant reclaim value, but once you add even a pound or an ounce of a new refrigerant, you've created something that nobody's gonna to wanna to reclaim. It's not gonna have any value and you destroyed that. You may, you or someone else may even have to pay to dispose of that mixed refrigerant in the future. So destroying reclaim number five. So I hope that uh, gives you some insight on why we consider there is no such thing as a drop in refrigerant. There's industry standards, there's regulations, there's guidelines that need to be followed when you're doing it. You're creating a new refrigerant, no one's gonna be able to service, and finally destroying the reclaim value of the R22 or other refrigerant in the system. Another reason why you don't wanna do it. Again, that was number one of our frequently asked questions. I have a long list, but I'd love to hear yours. Please feel free to email me and check out our other videos. Thanks for your time. I hope this was informative. Again, thanks for stopping by and look forward to seeing you, talking to you when times change.